Jeez. This is the real game of the year, bro. You're talking about Elden Ring. You clearly don't know the industry, bro. This shit's about to sell 10 million. Now, actually, I think with Game Pass, it's not going to sell as well. We are back, we are bigger, and we are bringing the entire team. Price, Gaz, Soap, Alejandro, and of course, Ghost. We needed a stage big enough to debut Call of Duty in a whole new way, inspired by the world we're about to enter. Oil rigs, cargo ships, and staggering odds are just the beginning. Here is Modern Warfare 2. Honestly, I'd be more hyped if they just started showing clips of the original Modern Warfare 2 remastered. Uh, <laughs> dude, for real. Like, the multiplayer. They already did the campaign, but... I mean, I'm sure this game will be fine. It's not like Call of Duties are ever, like, bad. You know, it's just more of the same. Yeah, I mean, like, the story modes are always cool, but everyone wants to know what's up with the multiplayer. That's what people really care about. Yeah. I know High Rise is apparently leaked to come back in Modern Warfare 2, but I don't know about any other maps. I can have someone jump off the map 360, throw a knife in the air, and hit me from across the damn thing. Actual reset. Copy. Get to work. Good hook. Up and at him. I mean, visually, it looks incredible. Yeah. I'm gonna see if we're... Making sure it's on that 1080. I will say, though, there's something about Modern Warfare that just hits different. I think it's maybe the name tied to our nostalgia of the original trilogy. Yeah. But I don't know. It's still, like, when you watch the use over, like, them just announcing another World War II COD, you're just like, oh, okay. Dude, it's because we know what the game could be as long as they do it right. Yeah, true. But see, like, this, like, the campaign's gonna be cool, it'll be, like, 15-ish hours, probably. And then you're gonna open the multiplayer, Dang. and it's gonna be... $25 for this skin. $20 for yeah. this gun skin, you know, so... Now you need to download 13 map packs to play. <laughs> yeah, 200 gigabytes. Yeah. That's the main problem with COD, I think. So like I said, the games are just, like, they're always fine. Yeah. Dang, they killed that guy while he was taking a dump? It's fucked up. Can at least let the man finish his business first. Gave him that Elvis treatment, bro. I mean, the gun looks like, like... It seems like it feels nice shooting the gun. Yeah, I mean, that's the last Modern Warfare game, I think. I haven't played Cold War, honestly. It's like the first COD I've never even touched. Yeah. But the, I thought Modern Warfare 2018, right? Mm, uh, 19. 2019? Okay, 2019 was really good, like, gun-wise. Yeah. When you shot the guns, they all felt unique and powerful. Dude, and you know on the PS5, bro, you get the haptics on the triggers. Yeah, most people hate on those. Like, the triggers, like, for multiplayer games, but... If I'm not trying to be a pro gamer... You know, I kind of like it. I think it's cool. Yeah. I mean, you could even turn it off for multiplayer stuff, I guess, but can you turn that shit off? Or? Yeah, you can. You can even, like, change the sensitivity, like, if you go to the PlayStation settings and, like, put it from 1 to 5 or whatever. Gotcha. So it's easier to pull. Yeah, I mean, this looks like Call of Duty. For sure. Guaranteed. I mean, that's, like, honestly kind of one of the problems I always have with Call of Duty is, like, like you said, they never are really bad, but it just looks like every other Call of Duty mission I've ever played. But, <laughs> you run in, kill the dude. in an oil rig or in a, a ship with tight corners and narrow hallways, and you have to infiltrate and kill the people. Like, it's... Yeah, and the stories, like, they're good, but they don't carry enough weight to make it, like, worthwhile. Yeah. It's kind of like the Far Cry issue, like... Far Cry are decent games, 
but they're always just the same open world, go to these points, do the same stuff. So people kind of don't care about the story because they're like, I have to go through all this bullshit to get it. Where are the controls? So. On that damn ship. Actually, we got a problem. Visually, though, it looks incredible. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. His, like, facial expressions and the character, like, the way that he moved and stuff, like, that was... Yeah, they definitely used all mocap, which is yeah. sick. Games are starting to get nuts with that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have ourselves Like, the way he, like, leaned up against the, mm. the boat and grabbed the dude's shoulder and everything. Yeah, no, I think the technology behind Call of Duty games is always just, like, top tier. Like I said, it's just the game feels the same, so it doesn't stand out to you yeah because your brain is just like oh i've seen this before like if you compare it to 2019 modern warfare it, this will probably look a hundred times better it's just my brain is like nah this just looks like that yeah And this is my issue I think I have a cut is they always take like 15 minutes of the presentations every time. And I'm just sitting here like, I get the point. I know what we're doing. You're wasted. Yeah. I'm like, now I have to play through this mission again by myself when I get the game. Yeah. But I'm sure like people who love Call of Duty are watching this. It's super hype. So yeah. it's obviously just yes. my opinion. And what I want out of this show rather than what other people want. Yeah. Jeff Keighley needs to make this show just for me. Nobody else. Just only the games that I want. I don't know if it's a good sign, though, that I... Can't seem to stop yawning ever since they started playing this. Can't seem to what? Can't seem to stop yawning ever since they started playing the Call of Duty thing. Yeah, it's just... Like I said, it's because you've seen it before. That was a cool transition. Yep. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. I'm telling you, Xbox is going to announce this on Game Pass on Sunday. I'm feeling it.